Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and I'm going to take you through a little edit using an action from the Picture Perfect Portra Mega Set. This set was newly updated, uh, added to, and a lot of the actions revised. We are going to use the action Perfect Portrait as all-in-one portrait retouching action, so it's going to run all of your adjustments for retouching in one action so you can go through and quickly uh, use which layers you need to, skin smoothing, eyes, etc. in one action. So we're going to click play and this says it's a super mega portrait action, one stop shopping action for a minute or two makeover. I'm going to run that and it takes just a few seconds. Like I said, it's running a lot of different adjustments at one time here. So you need to give it just a few seconds longer than your average action. We've got all these different layers to work with. Um, we've got uh, bring back shadows, soft pop, make it lighter and darker, warmth and cooling, a sharpening layer, skin smoothing, teeth bleach and whitening, uh, darken the pupil and the lash line, an eye color pop for light eyes, an eye color pop for dark eyes, uh, eyes and detail sharpening, and a contrast layer. So lots to work with here. You can use as little or as uh, much as you want. And I'm just going to do some basic adjustments here and kind of show you how they all work. This is the eye and sh detail sharpening layer. You can use this um, overall on the eyes, on the iris, lashes, um, sharpen them up. You can sometimes I'll use it on the lips. You can use that anywhere where you want to give a little pop of sharpness. And I'm going to use, she has dark eyes, so I'm going to use the eye color pop dark and just brush really lightly over the eyes there. You don't want an alien look, so go very light. I'm going to bring that back down just a little bit. And we have a darkened pupil and lash line if we want to darken up the pupil or the rims of the eyes is always a nice one to enhance just a little bit. And you can darken up the lash lines as well. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do too much here. Um, you want to zoom way in when you're using this one and make sure you're getting it just on the areas that you're wanting to target. She's already got pretty dark makeup on, so I'm not going to do a whole lot there and bring that down. And so you can see it just and gives a little bit more drama. You can do it around the rims of the eyes. And like I said, just be use a small brush size and be very careful when you're painting. It targets the darker shadows. And um, so if you do brush on the white, it's not the lighter areas of the image. It's not going to do too much damage, but you still want to be careful and bring that way down. Um, we've got a teeth bleach. Um, she doesn't have any teeth show. Oh, she has a little bit, but not, nothing that we need to worry about. And skin smoothing, of course. Um, f with skin smoothing, I always adjust my opacity on my brush. I'm going to bring that down to um, 40%. And I, I brush on building the effect up so you don't get... Uh, so you don't have it full force when you first put your brush down. I, I build it up and, and keep painting on. And it's like it's like if you were painting on a canvas and you put a little paint on at a time, it just builds up the effect. And, and it keeps it more natural that way. And then uh, adjust the opacity at the end here. That's that before. That's, you know, obviously way too much. Uh, so keep it about 35% and keep it natural looking. And we've got to make it crisp lighter. On this layer here, the make it crisp, you don't want to, that kind of takes away anything you did with the skin smoothing. So uh, what I like to do is hold down the option key, drag, if I've done skin smoothing, I click on, I hold down your option key, click on the skin smoothing layer mask that you just painted on, drag it on top of the make it crisp layer, right? It asks you if you want to replace layer mask. You say yes. And then you need to invert it. So you hit Command on a Mac or Control on a PC plus I, and it inverts that mask. And basically, it is making uh, the effects visible only on the parts where uh, that we had not painted on the skin smoothing layer. So we have the opposite going on. It's smoothing every or it's crisping everything but the skin that way. And, uh, you know, we have the cool down and warm layer. Everything looks pretty good skin tone wise and everything on this one. So we're going to leave all those. The exposure is pretty good. So we don't need to touch that either. But those are all in there if you need to do that too. And this is 
our before, and this is our after. Very subtle changes, but very pretty. We don't want to go alien on anybody. We want to keep them natural and human looking. So um, I like to do these kind of enhancements very subtly, um, but it makes a big difference in the end. You want people to notice your image first in the person in the image and not have them think, whoa, that was photoshopped when they first look at it. And so that is our perfect portrait, all-in-one portrait retouching action, and that is in the Picture Perfect Mega Set. And that is available for Photoshop and Elements, and it was just added to lots of new actions, lots of all-in-one workflow actions and retouching actions, and a lot of revisions and improvements made on that set. I'm really excited about it. And everybody that has purchased the Picture Perfect Portrait Mega Set are going to be getting, if you haven't already, an update in your email with the new updates and upgrades made to the set for free. So uh, keep an eye on your inbox. We're doing them in batches, but they are on their way. I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>